Hey, Polly here back on the Latino Slant. Um, before we get this uh, video started, don't forget to make sure you're subscribed and check out our membership perks because on different levels, there are lots of fun things to be had here at the Latino Slant. Okay, I'm joined by comic book extraordinaire clobbering times. What's up, <laughs> hey, buddy? Man. Hey, buddy. Thanks for having me here. Great to see you. Great to yeah. see you. Yeah, so, um, you know, uh, I thought I'd invite you in for uh, the latest, you know, which could be, you know, it could be absolutely nothing. And uh, yet mm -hmm. it could be something in regards to uh, Sasha Kaye and uh, Supergirl. Okay. Yeah, man. I know a couple months ago when she first got cast, we talked about it. Um, yeah. In, in your circles, have you heard any new news since then? I've seen nothing I, other than what you just said, what we talked about a couple months back. I've heard nothing until you mentioning this today. So this right. is a new development. Excellent. Well, let's get to this fun new development and uh, see what can uh, see what can uh, can be had. Um, while I'm doing that, any little tidbits or like kind of backstory to Supergirl that you might want to give us? When when was she first? debuted if you remember oh uh, this was somewhere around you know actually there was a story where there was a similar type of the uh sort of a pre-story to a supergirl type character that really turned out not to really be her but the Kara Zorel supergirl who was of course superman's cousin who was uh linda lee at some point linda danvers all that she started mm -hmm. i can't give you the year off the top of my head or the actual issue i can dig it up for you but i can't top of my head i'm bad with issue numbers as i've told you before but that was in the in somewhere in the silver age it was somewhere in the in the late 50s when she first appeared so she's been around a long time right and she's uh, of course uh did you know she never really had her own title all that often um, and really didn't get her own title to the 70s when uh she was featured in adventure comics and then later the new adventures of supergirl and as you know um her the peak of her popularity of that particular iteration of the character was a film of the Salkines who produced the Chris Reeve Superman films of uh, 1984. Um, With Helen then, Shaver. Yeah. Yeah. Helen Slater was, uh, I thought. Slater, uh, Slater. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, which you can say what you want about the film. It was, you know, pretty flawed, but she was, a, I thought, a wonderful casting of the character. Yeah. Um, yeah. Better than, she's like, you know, it's sort of like the later Christopher Reeve films. He was better. He was better casting than the actual film was. Sure. Uh, yeah, but it was a good, you know, it was fun to see it at the time. And then she actually kind of hit it big when she was killed in something called Crisis on Infinite Earths in 1985, which was uh, the big DC retcon at the time, the continuity retcon, uh, which mm -hmm. I have some, you know, and that was like really is the height of her popularity in a sense, she, you know, but she'd been around a long time. She popped in some of my favorite comics, Legion of Superheroes comics and various ones. But never was a much of a standalone character in terms of you know huge popular sales, but they brought her back as you as of course they all you know who doesn't come back a dime right in comics <laughs> who, does, who doesn't come back? Well, yeah. in this article um, from uh, comicbook dot uh, DC News, um, the Flash star Sasha Kai reveals Supergirl look straight out of the comics. Hmm. This is, right. Production on DC's long-awaited The Flash movie is finally underway. Okay, so there we go. And audiences are, are eager to see exactly what it brings to the DC film world. 
One of the biggest surprises of the film thus far has been the confirmed appearance of Supergirl, who is set to be played by the young and restless star, Sasha Kaye. We will have, we will, while we still haven't gotten to see what Kaye will look like in the character, a new social media post from the actress is drawing comparisons, comparisons, comparisons <laughs> uh, to the maid of might and not the one that the fans might be expecting. On Saturday, Kaye posted a photo of herself with short black hair, prompting some fans to point out that she looks just like the Sri L iteration of Supergirl. Um, and here is anything before I, I show you the photo. No, go ahead. Like I said, this is a character that is way after my time that is far mm -hmm. more recent, but I can understand why they're making these comparisons. There she is. She does look just like her from things I've seen. Again, I wasn't reading the series at the time and I couldn't mm -hmm. even tell you exactly where she started out, but it's fairly recent, the serial, the serial or at least in terms of uh, her popularity. And um, I guess they could be going that route and rather than her being the Kara that we've seen that I was talking about and that you've also seen in the uh, recent TV series. She mm -hmm. could be a different iteration. She sure looks like it. Beautiful. Well, girl. she sure, yeah. First of all, she looks completely different than the uh, than the television series that, that's yes. going on. Uh, and we could all say that that's kind of uh, have, has failed as a as far as uh, it, gathering any uh, any audience, you know. Um, I mean, it's a CW. Yeah. 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 Um, but here's here's Sasha Kai looking dramatically different in the last since two months ago since we reported this with short hair putting on makeup um, a, a uh, necklace uh, of some sort and black fingernail polish hmm so <laughs> maybe it's a red, it, like uh, we were kind of talking a little bit before. It could be for some other kind of a role, and maybe this or it could be a, some sort of. And it's just uh, being uh, mistaken for a red, uh, mistaken and you, becoming sort of a unintentional red herring. Maybe people think that it is that iteration, and maybe when they make the film, she'll uh, maybe they won't change her hair color or anything. Maybe she'll have long flowing hair and still be considered or still be called Kara. I don't uh -huh. know. Or I don't. And Linda, I don't know. Well, what we do know is that she posted this up this weekend on her Twitter. Mm -hmm. And what we do know is that she's got short hair. <laughs> Other yep. than that, right. everything else is just pure speculation, right? It's just yes. like, right? It's like, okay. But you can um, understand it why they would make that speculation, considering how the other one looks. Yeah. And we do know that, you know, she's a, she's, you know, a pretty good looking uh, lady. Oh, my. There. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. So, I'm going as we look at this uh, photo. Um, let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, maybe you guys have some uh, some uh, some insight. Oh, and we have some updates as well, um, which is pretty cool because everyone is running with this now. In her original post, let's go back to her her page here because i know what i did um on her official page and you know let's let's do this let's do this let's read the let's keep reading the article then we're going to go to her actual twitter which i think mm -hmm. my which has some new updates oh okay uh, cre created in 20 in 2003 by uh steven siegel and scott mcdaniel sri l first claims to be super superman's daughter but is later revealed to be a human woman named Mia, who is genetically manipulated by Brainiac in order to get revenge on Superman. Sriel is briefly erased from DC's continuity, but later reappears, just like you said, uh, <laughs> Superman <laughs> Batman, to help all the other iterations of Supergirl rescue Superman from the source wall. Um, while Gaia's new, if if you want to, inter, you know, please interject wherever you want to, uh, Claude. Well, that you know, when that character first came about, when they're talking about right there, I wasn't mm -hmm. reading any of the regular comics, and then I started back reading DC after like a twelve-year absence or something, about a year or two after that, because of uh, the Great Greenland Rebirth, and read it for a number of years, and mm -hmm. I never really saw her pop up at all. That particular iteration. I, and mm -hmm. I was reading almost all the DC books, so I just missed her, I guess, because I didn't see her pop up. And then again. She could have popped up later when after the, in the new 52 after I'd left, which chased me away from DC. So, uh, again, she's not super, super well known. When you think Supergirl, mm -hmm. you just think Kara. 
So, uh, right. But yes, I mean, somebody, of course, some someone who does remember her saw that look, and you can you you could see her, you could pull her up online and see that. Well, I can't understand. Maybe they will be. Maybe she will be that one. While know. Kaya's new hairdo definitely draws parallels to Sorrel, there's also a chance that her hair could be short to allow for some sort of wig in order for her for her hair as Supergirl to appear differently. Either way, the new photo of the actress is sure to get fans speculating, especially given <laughs> how much of the DC multiverse The Flash is expected to cover, um, which has been problematic, right? The Flash is also expected to see the return of both Affleck and Keaton's iterations of Batman, as well as Kiersey Clemens, Iris West. The, class, the cast reportedly also includes Ron Livingston as Henry Allen, Maribel Verdu as Nora Al Allen, uh, which are Barry Allen's uh, uh, parents, parents yeah. Yeah. right? And Ian, mm -hmm. Ian Lowe as young Barry Allen. Um, the film would be helmed by director Andy Muschietti uh, with the script from Birds of Prey and Batgirl's Christina Hodson, uh, which is either good good or bad news, depending on where you, where yes. you have your slant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it depends on what kind of biases you're bringing in there, I suppose. Yeah, um, and then this we we got a little bit more here. Uh, this movie is bit of is a bit of a hinge in the se in the sense that it presents a story that implies a unified universe where all the cinematic iterations that we've seen before are valid. Muschietti said in an interview for Vanity Fair last year, it's inclusive in the sense that it's all saying uh, saying all all that you have seen exists and everything that you will see exists in the same unified multiverse. What do you think of the latest photo of the Flash star, Sasha Calle? Okay, that is the story of comic book from comicbook.com. And really, it's just, it's not a really a story per se, right? Let's just get clear. No. It's more just like, you know, uh, fan speculation. There's been a, uh, there's a new, there's a new uh, photo of Sasha that you put up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, do you have any uh, any thoughts right now? Well, you know, anytime here dealing with a property that has huge, just an IP that has big fan followings, that is especially you know superheroes, mm -hmm. the slight she could she could put out a tweet saying uh, the word Supergirl and dot dot dot, and there's gonna be comments on it. What does she mean by that? There's not you know because she's involved with that project, anything she does is gonna get commentary, even if even if it's nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. It's going to look the fans of who are either looking forward to it or, or dreading it one way or the other are going to have something to say about it. And it's going to make a little bit of hay. And this, you know, and I wouldn't put it past them to maybe put that picture out of her as some kind of red herring because she does so resemble that character, that particular mm. iteration. I'm not saying mm -hmm. that's true. It's probably just totally coincidence, but it sure riles up interest when you do stuff like that. Sure. Sure. Well, um, this is kind of cool, right? You know, either way, it's got to speculate. And then, and then, you know, people that are fans of Sasha and then for uh, channels such as the Latino Slant, you know, we're going to report on it just because that's what we do. Um, now we go to her Twitter page, Clobberin. Mm -hmm. And here is her official Twitter page. This is what we had um had covered February 19th. That's where the mm -hmm. director gives her the thing. It was a very, very touching moment, that whole thing. Since then, that's February 19th. Hmm. We go to oh my. March 27th. She just puts X, which I don't really know what that means, but <laughs> you know. So you're going to be an X-Men movie now? <laughs> right. Whoa, yeah. Well, I mean, X either way, she's got you know, maybe it's uh, she's going for an androgynous look, so she puts the X oh, in these okay. photos. There you go. You know, these you know, Hollywood <laughs> kids nowadays. Right. Either way, pretty hot. Now, pretty hot. She's, if she's trying to be androgynous there, she failed miserably. <laughs> right, right. Well, <laughs> maybe the clothes are male, but... Um, oh, yeah, yeah. But now we go up to April 19th, and she says, here we go. Mm. And uh, let's put the sound of that. Which is just a 12 second uh, yeah. flash deal there. 
Now we go to this past weekend where she's put this up over almost 10,000 likes, the thousand retweets, the whole deal. And we just covered it. Right. Mm -hmm. And then she puts mm. this up 33 oh. minutes ago. Incredible heart. She's retweeting Liana. I saw Sasha Kaye's new hair and thought Super Gold would really would would look really good in that hair. And this is the photo. It looks definitely closer to the Kara costume, if I if I'm right. But I don't know, I could you know, because you don't see mm -hmm. the S or any, you can't see the S or anything. But the cape, the color scheme looks closer to the traditional, closer, not you know, act, exactly mm -hmm. anything, but. So that didn't tell us much in terms of which character, which version she's going to be. Right. I, again, I think it's, it, it, I think it, it's doing exactly what Sasha and the company is doing, right? The DC people, the film people is right. fan get speculation. Him, get keep, them the talk, keep the talk going, right? Yes. Um, so on that level, to me, this is way more, you know, better news than let's say, the Eternals trailer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because this is so far off, and they're already starting to stir things up. They were keeping the, the Eternals under, under wrap. I mean, it was it was under the under the under the table. Right. They were hiding it. They were not. They were ashamed of it. They were giving yeah. us nothing. They were doing this on, uh, except for that one little thing about a certain like a what a, a kiss or something that about a year or so ago they were bragging about. Uh huh. Uh huh. With Eternals. Other than that, they weren't doing this kind of stuff to get fans right. juiced about it. Because, again, no fans really know. And people know who Supergirl is to an extent. There's a TV show. There's a lot of comics. They There was nothing you could tangibly do with Eternals to pique interest because no one knows who they are. Even Kirby fans don't even think it's Kirby's greatest work. And those characters, none of them are as big as his fourth world character names like Orion and Darkseid and people like that. So right. you couldn't you could put speculation all day long on Eternals and people go, what? But this you could this works. Well, this is this is this is you know this is a you know keeping the excitement going on a lot of different levels you know um, you know and it's if anything it's cool when the actor does it. You see the actor is 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 teasing us, but is also geeked out to where she's you know she's promoting it. And good for her, man. You know this is a role mm -hmm. of a role of a lifetime. Uh, people in the chat watching this right now what do you guys think of all this do you would you like to see sasha looking like this or in another iteration of supergirl um is this uh you know does does this show her off well enough i mean i i would it'd be you know to me that that would be a perfect uh perfect you know uh just as far as look i don't know story-wise where they're gonna go with it that's a whole nother deal uh clobbering yeah um and we hope that the you know, my she is an alien, right? At least, well, mm. this one they're saying is a humanoid or was a human that was genetically. Yeah. And yeah, this might be from a comic book that I've never read, by the way. You never know, then, you know, where mm -hmm. that is that version. Yeah. So, will be. right. So, if, if this woman, uh, if they're going with the, with the human that was, that was uh, controlled by Brainiac or whatever, then she possibly could have a background of being a Latina woman here on Earth. Yeah, that takes it or that cut that completely separates her being a Kryptonian. Yes, it does. And um, although, you mm -hmm. know, they're not going to be above taking the character to him and make and doing some sort of a hybrid or an amalgam in the sense that she might be Cyril, for example, and yet they mm -hmm. still might just decide Cyril is a different Kryptonian, sure. or maybe a cousin of Zara's or something like that, Kara's, excuse me, Kara Zarel, or something like that. In other words, they've yeah. done that plenty of times. They've taken bits and pieces of a character from uh, elements from a comic and did their own thing, amalgam, mashed them up. That would be my speculation. This is total speculation. They're probably going to sure. make her Zarel or something, but make her a Kryptonian as well. Uh, well, whatever they make her, uh, please keep her looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, wow. my my thing too is is that what they've been really quiet about is who is is Cavill is Cavill going to make an appearance in this because because she is Superman's cousin, and they do kind of look alike, right, with the dark hair and the features. 
that would kind of make sense, you know, because we're not talking about the other uh, proposed uh, iteration of Superman, you know, the uh, the uh, the uh, African American Superman. Obviously, I don't know how they're going to explain that, but this, to me, you know, is is kind of connecting her more to Cavill. What do you think? I don't think he's coming back. So I, I don't think it does, but I, I, but you know they they might since this is a multiverse type deal. Remember they, as you know, even on TV they did the uh, their Crisis on Infinite Earths where they had all those different multiverses and stuff yeah. like that. I think that they think that gives them free reign. She, they can just actually say they can make this and literally just come out and say she is uh, Superman's cousin and still never show him and never tell That's us true. that. That's yeah. true. Knowing Hollywood, they can say they can they're doing anything they want to do right nowadays. Yes. Uh, and going going away from origin. Um, my hope is Andy, uh, the director, uh, you know, you know, you know, somehow keeps it close to <laughs> close to some origins, man. You know. <laughs> yes. But what it, we do know, okay, so what we do know is that yeah. it's going to be pretty epic as far as. Um, who's gonna the the prolific cast, right? The ideas behind the behind the cast, um, and this is the first time we'll see Supergirl on the big screen since 1984, since you said. Mm -hmm. um, this is the Ezra Miller one, right? Correct. So the, so the that kills my yeah, it kills my interest, but maybe people will like it. And then again, with him in it, you know, him is I won't even be watching it, but maybe mm -hmm. a lot of people will, you know, and maybe it'll do well and. Uh, I, my, I tend to think, even if they make a Kryptonian or whatever, I'm not so sure how much of an appearance she'll get in that. In this one, maybe a very relatively small one, and then later down the road, she'll get to get her own film or something. You never know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But in this yeah. one, it probably won't be that big. I don't know. Well, sure, another thing we do know is Sasha Kaya is a a very uh, you know uh, accomplished actress for having such a a young career, nominated for an Emmy, daytime uh, actress. Yeah, you know, you know, so um Andy saw something that you know that we want to see. So um, so let me ask you this. So even with that being said, um, you know, you're gonna have Keaton, you're gonna have Affleck back, mm -hmm. Sasha Kaye, some other good actors, you wouldn't see it because of Ezra Miller. Well, if we're back to like normal time where people go to theaters to see stuff or whatever, it's something I wouldn't go out of yeah. my way, but it wouldn't doesn't mean I wouldn't watch it. You sure. Know? If you said, hey, it was pretty good, I would probably watch it at some point. As far as like running out to the theater mm -hmm. or something like that, it's just because I, I really, I'm, you, know, it's, you know, nothing personal against the kid. I just don't like it. I think he's, Ezra Miller is a horrific casting for Barry Allen. He's he's more like a Bart Allen, and even that's all, I'm not a big <laughs> Bart Allen guy. Yeah. I'm a Barry Allen fan. I'm, I wasn't too big on the guy on the CW either, but at least he was more earnest, a little bit more like it. So, right, right. Or, or John Wesley Ship wasn't exactly like him either, but, you know, I love Barry so much to see that kid that cast as Barry. I just I can't. It makes my skin crawl. I can't watch him. That doesn't mean I won't watch the film. It's just I don't well, know if I would go out of my way. Just for me as an old comics fan, you know. You heard it. If you guys want to get greater comic knowledge of old school comics, probably all the way, I'd say, up until the 2000s, right? No, um, I, I, I read a lot of 2000s stuff, but then in 2011, the, the Screw 52 chased me away. from. Gotcha. Um <laughs> uh, hit clobber and times this channel the link will be in the description below please don't forget to comment let us know what you think of this latest uh iteration and post of what sasha kai is doing is she messing with us please mm. don't please don't play with our emotions <laughs> <laughs> yeah but what we do yeah. know is that she you know <laughs> she's honoring her fans by posting up their stuff which is really cool um, I want to yeah. thank Clobber Times for being here on this uh, special edition of Latino Slant News Flash commentary on entertainment and talking about the latest Sasha Kaya news. Uh, where can uh, you know give give, give your uh, give your links and maybe something to, uh, you know you guys do on your channel? Oh uh, well, uh, well, uh, well on Monday nights um, I talk about comics. Tonight I'm talking about the combo call my combo call of fame. And um, a second wave, and then Saturday, you know, do some other, do the Global Geek Gang on Thursdays, Open Geeks on Wednesdays and Saturday nights, reviewing all of real Star Trek 66 through 05 with Raquel. And uh, we have a fantastic time. If you're a Star Trek fan, please stop by there, 9 p.m. Central on, on Saturday nights. 
Awesome, man. All right, everyone. We'll see you next time. Always catch our uh, live shows and our videos. Just hang out on the channel. Take care, Clobberin. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks, buddy. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Slam. Slam. All right, Paul, let's go. Thank you.